In this tutorial, I show you how you can copy an experiment from the library of experiments and use it in your own Site Toolkit account. It is actually really simple to do. So first you go to the library of experiments and you select the experiment that you want to use. So let's just take the top one, the Stroop task. There is a download section. It says here the Site Toolkit code zip file. That's the one that you need. You click on it and it will be saved to your computer. So you should not open it, you should save it. That's very important. Okay, I click OK, and now it's being saved to my computer. It's on my hard disk. Now, I can leave this. I'm going to main again, and I'm going to do web-based system. So I log in to my Site Toolkit account, and I'm now going to say create new experiment. And here I'm going to select method 2 from a site toolkit experiment file zip format that's the one that I just download so I'm going to browse I'm going to my account and see there is a file stroop.zip that's the one that I need I'm opening that I'm going to say I I'm going to give it my own name I'm going to say my stroop task and I'm going to uh, create the experiment based on that and you see there it is uh, it's automatically uploaded I have now a new experiment called my Stroop task and I can do what I can do with any experiment I can compile it it has been successfully compiled I can now run the experiment in the browser just to see whether it works yes it works it does exactly what it should do so that's great and that's all there is to copying and pasting an experiment to your own account now what you can do is you can make changes to the experiment, you can change the number of trials, you can change the stimuli, you can do anything that you want. It's a different experiment. That's it.